what it is. They can say what they want to say. When the woman came around, she ended up opening the door because she was supposed. She was just supposed to put the key in and check it. She opened the door up and she and she screamed. She was like, "Oh my God!" She said, "Who who left Baker door open? Who left this door open like that?" I was like, "Oh man, that woman just ruined that woman just ruined my whole chances of escaping." I was, "Oh, I never get that chance again." Two three days later. I get into it with the police. I get into it with the police. I'm flooding the cell. I flood the cell for about 45 minutes before they even realized, before they even realized that I was flooding it. So I get into it with the police. I slam one of them. Boom. When I slam them, the other one grab me. I grab him. Dude finna get up off the ground. My cousin, the uh, the captain of the jail, he so happened to step into the door. Soon as he stepped in the door, dude was cocking back to get ready to punch me. He stepped in the middle of him. He said, if you hit him, I'm going to fire you right now. You can go home right now. He's back and stuff. So I started laughing. I said, yeah, yeah put your hands on me. You want to put your hands on you. You about to lose your job. <laughs> you, I live. They were so mad. They were so mad. So they had to clean up all the water. I'm sitting down. I'm talking to my cousin. I said, man, cub, why don't you just get them to transfer me and take me? And you know what I'm saying? Get me to, get me to prison. He was like, oh, trust me, cub. Oh, trust me. I'm trying to get you moved. He was like, I, I don't want you here no more. He said, I'm, I'm tired of dealing with you. <laughs> excuse, my, excuse me real quick. This is what he told me. I'll never forget it. He said, you more foolish than a turkey on Thanksgiving. You know that, cub? <laughs> he said, yeah. He said, you more foolish than a turkey on Thanksgiving, cub. I've been trying to get you. He said, they won't let me move you. He said, they won't let me move you. So I stand up. I got a, they had a handcuff on me. They had one handcuff on me. I stand up. I said, cub. I said, so you... What you think I'm trying to do? Escape? I'm looking at him. He looking at me. We looking at each other. He said, "I don't know." You tell me. You trying to escape? I said, "I'm gonna tell you something, cub." I said, "I'm gonna tell you something." I said, "Yo, yo, your staff down here. These officers down here." I said, "Oh, they don't try to let me get up out of here." I said, "The next time they do it, cub, I'm gonna leave." And he said, "If I get a phone call and they tell me that Joe Baker done left my facility," I'm going to fire every officer that's working on that shift. Hold on real quick. Listen, listen. He said, he said, he said, now, he said, now I'm telling you. He said, if I get a call and they say, Baker done left this facility, I'm going to fire every officer that's on that shift. I said, well, look, here Next time they say I can go, I'm going to leave. The next day, listen, the next day, I'm out cleaning up. This dude come in. He, well, he get ready to come through. He get ready to come in and get processed. As soon as he walked through the door, he said, man, I ain't going in no home cell. I'm going to make bomb. I, I ain't going in no home cell. I ain't going. My family already don't follow the, my family follow me up here. They out here. They ready to make bomb right now. The officer, same sergeant, she come, she said, hey, come on, come on, come on, Joe, come on. She said, Joe, just, just step in the cell real quick. Let me get him processed in. I'll let you back out to clean up. She closed the door. Boom. She made the same mistake. She didn't lock it. She walked off. Oh, I turned the light off. Pow. Took my socks off. Laid down. I heard a lady coming around the corner to, to bring the medication. I jumped up. I said, I, I said, I'm straight. I don't want my meds. I'm straight. She said, you sure, baby? I said, I don't want them. I don't want them. I'm good. You ain't even got to come around here. I'm good. You ain't come around here checking no doors this time. She, I can see her. She turned the cart around. She turned the cart around and walked off. <laughs> I laid down in the boat. I'm sitting here chilling. I'm waiting for third shift. I made it like I don't went to sleep. I done turned around. I heard third shift coming in. They, they, listen, they swapping keys and radio. I'm just laying there. Please don't check that door. Please don't check the door. Please don't check the door. Dude's still out there talking, man. Man, I'm finna make bomb. My people already, look out there and see my people out there. They telling them, yeah, they already out there. They already got the bonds been here. We're gonna get you, let us, let us change shifts. We're gonna get you process. We're gonna get you process. Third shift done came in. They ain't checked the door. They going to do their count. He come by, he count me. One. And then he got to turn the corner. 
So ain't nobody right here in intake. I get up off the bed at Robinson County Jail, Springfield, Tennessee. I, they had to rebuild the whole jail after I escaped. I, I put my hands under the door and I barely pushed it open to make sure it was unlocked. The door was open. I closed it back up. <laughs> Boy, I stood up. It's going down tonight. Y'all know I got a celebratory dance every time I'm finna shake the spot. I'm in here like, hey, I'm finna make history tonight. I lay back down in the boat. They bring the boy back out. The boy said, man, where my people at, man? Where my people at? The lady said, you want me to buzz his people in? You want me to buzz them in? It's two women, two older women and a, and a older man. And a man. He sit, the man sitting down, the other two women, they walking around in intake in the big bubble. She said, you want me to buzz them on in? He said, yeah, go on and buzz them in. But the mistake she made was when you buzz, when you buzz, I didn't have no shoes. I had flip-flops, but I, I took them off because I, I, I took them off and my socks. I ain't had no time to do no slipping and sliding. So check this out. So when she hit the door, I, I know what doors sound like what because I've been down there for about a month. She hit the door. It's real loud. That's the door outside. It's I said, oh, that's the door. The people, his people come in, but a step, you only supposed to buzz one door. You're supposed to buzz one door, let that one close, and then open the other door. Instead of doing that, this night, it was, I'm telling you, it had to be God. <laughs> it had to be. She buzzed both doors at the same time. She hit the first. Ah, then she hit the other one. It's kind of it's kind of low because it's inside the building. Nigga. Ah, I raised up off the bed. My heart racing. I raised up off the bed. I step up in front of the door. Dude turn around and look at me. I'm looking at him. We looking at each other. He he think everything cool. My boy, he, what's up, baby? I do him like that. I was standing there chilling. My heart racing, though. Because in my, in my mind, I'm thinking, they ain't got a clue what's really going on right now. Like, they really don't. Dude sitting here talking crazy. He, he kind of got them distracted. They done buzzed both of these doors in. This man family is... This man family is right here in the middle of where I'm finna run out at. I'm standing there like that. I barely pushed the door. Game time. Dramatic effect me, please. I, I raised my hands up, put it on the glass. I barely pushed the door. Pow! Everything started moving, moving in slow motion. Soon as I pushed that door, it went. All three of them, the lady, both of the ladies and the man, and the dude who making bomb. When the door swing over, they went, everybody look. I'm looking at them. They were like, I read the man's lips. He said, by that time, I'm already coming out. I, 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 listen, listen. When I came out the door, I, I come out the door and close it at the same time. I come out the door, catch it, boom, closed it. It's, I got to go through four doors, though. I go through the first door. It's just a push door. Pow. I go through that door. I turn on the left, go through another door. Pow. Push through that door. Now I'm going through the both of them doors that she buzzed open. I push the first door she buzzed open. Pow. Dude, people say, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is going on? Oh, my God. I say, man, watch out. Man, move, lady. Move. I come up out of I hit the second door. The, well, it's really the fourth door to go outside. I hit the fourth door. Pow. When I hit the door, I couldn't believe that I had just escaped jail. <laughs> Listen, I literally stepped outside and felt that air breeze up on me. I said, ooh. I had to get it to go. I take out running. I'm running downhill. I fall. I fall down. I tumble. Bounce back up like flow. By the time I get downhill, the police done came outside. The officer, I look back. He said, Joe. It's the same line everybody got when I run. He said, Joe, Joe, don't do it. He's a runner. He's a track star. He gonna run away. He gonna get far. I ain't going to jail. Uh-uh-uh. 
take the handcuffs and shackles up. Oh, I go across the street, hit the high. I'm free. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. When I run across the street, I'm fine, fine. I'm going to call. I couldn't believe what I had did. Listen, so I run. I got two homeboys that live in this area. I got two homeboys that live in this area. I run because the police, they, I started hearing sirens instantly. They everywhere. So I go to my homeboy house. I go straight to his car. He don't drive it no more. It's, it's busted up. Oh, I check the door. Boom. Door locked. It's got to be God. It's got to be. I'm talking about it was like it was like the Red Sea was part. It was like I was escaping from Egypt, from Pharaoh and them. I ain't lying. I was listen, he was allowed me to get out of captivity. I ain't playing no game. Listen, listen. So I laid down, listen. I lay down in the floorboard of the car. I lay down in the floorboard of the car. Police everywhere. I see big lights everywhere. They just flashing everywhere. Dogs barking. Everything. I'm just laying there. Two po this is a true story. Two police cars pulled directly in front of the car that I'm sitting in. And the police officer say, is that damn Baker again? They said, how did he do? How did he get out of jail? He said, man, they'll, he said, I don't know he did it again. They talked for a little minute, then they pulled off. I just laid up. The sun started coming up. It's the sun started coming up. And I'm thinking to myself, I said, man, it's just going to be my luck. What's up, man? Where you been at? I ain't seen you in a minute, man. I raise up. I raise up just to see if there's any police out. Ain't no police. I get out. Pow. My homeboy live on the back of this Indian hill. I run to my homeboy house. <laughs> Listen, I'm talking Big smile on my face. I can't believe what I listen. But at this age, though, I'm 19. I'm 19. At this age, I'm thinking this. I'm, I'm really. I'm solidified at this point. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm solidified. Real. I'm talking about street. Point blank. Period. I've done it all. <laughs> listen. So I get to my homeboy house. I know where he keep the key at. I go under the rock, grab the key. I go in the bottom part. I go in the bottom part of their house. They upstairs. I don't know the police that already came over here and searched their house. I'm downstairs. Yeah, I was home. <laughs> I go in my homeboy bathroom, brush my teeth with his toothbrush, take a little bird bath, put on one of his outfits. I had a pair of, uh, I had some G-Unit boots over there. I put my G-Unit boots on. I lay down in his bed. I lay down in the bed. I'm thinking, man, I said so much. So what am what am now now, now what? <laughs> like what like like what's the plan now? Like what <laughs> yeah, his toothbrush. I ain't got no lie to you. I, I wasn't think I listen, I wasn't thinking about none of that. I didn't care nothing about that. I was not thinking about oral hygiene, none of that. I was thinking about not doing life in prison. You hear me? Not doing life in prison. I'm laying down in this man's bed, I'm thinking. So I was like, okay, I got to get a rat. So I come out of the house. I come out of the house. I go up the driveway and I go knock on my homeboy. I'm, it's my homeboy. It's where they really my cousin. I knock on my cousin, little brother. I knock on the little brother with Somebody look at the blinds. I'm telling him, come, come, come downstairs real quick. Come downstairs, come downstairs. I'm thinking he finna come downstairs. I do this three times. Don't nobody come downstairs to see what's going on. I said, come, 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 come downstairs. Three times. So the third time, I'm standing in the house. I'm like, they don't even know I'm, I'm already. JTB3.org. JTB3.org. They don't even know I'm already standing. I'm already in the house. They don't even know I'm in the house. So I go upstairs. In the upstairs, I'm in the house. I'm walking upstairs. They got the door locked. I knock on the door. The, they dare to say, who is it? I said, man, this boo, man, open the door. He said, man, look, man, I don't know how you got in my house, man, but look, you, you can't stay over here. You can't stay over here, man. The police done already came over here and searched my house. You, you can't stay over here. I'm already in the house, Andy. Open the door. 
He opened the door. They opened the door. So when I walk in, it looked like they've been in here having a family meet. So I'm trying to figure out who, who, whoever was in this room that went and told them that it was me trying to get in the house. And they done already discussed not to let me in the house. Everybody, they sit down looking at everybody, everybody looking at me. We all looking at each other and say, man, how you, how you get up out of that jail? I said, man, I ain't got time for that right now. I need a ride. Somebody go give me a ride. He said, man, can't nobody in here give you a ride. I'm still looking around, though, trying to see what a little brother had that I was telling to come downstairs. I don't see him. I don't see him. I don't see him. So then, guess who come out of the room that, that I thought was the little brother that kept peeking out the blast? My ex-girlfriend. I, I, what, what, I, hold on. Hold, what is you doing over here? She walked out the back room. That's, what? Hold on. <laughs> what is you doing over here? I said, man, you know what? You going to give me a ride? He said, no, nah, she can't give you a ride. Nope, she can't give you a ride either. She, I'm not letting nobody over here. She buzzed out. She said, I'll give him a ride. I'll take him. Where you trying to? Take me to New Medico. Take me to New Medico. Take me to New Medico. So we riding. While we riding, she telling me, she like, uh, you know everybody talking about you. Everybody saying you ain't going to, you ain't getting out of jail this time. Everybody know I've been in and out of trouble my whole life. I always end up squeezing out of something. She said, you know everybody saying you ain't going to get out this time. Get what I told her. Oh, why'd you see? Just, just, just sit back and watch it. You know, don't watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Just chill. So she take me to my cousin's house. Make a long story short, my cousin's house. I call another one of my cousins. They take me to Clarksville, Tennessee, to the slab. I had a girl I was messing with that lived in Clarksville, but she had started going to college. She had started going. Favor, favor. That I gotta drop a word after this one. I feel it already. I'm just trying to finish the story. I leave. I leave. I go to Clarksville. My girlfriend from Clarksville, but she done moved to Virginia where she going to school at. So you in? Oh, you in the slab? You in the slab? You saying you in Clarksville or you saying you in the slab, Jasmine? Who? You in the slab? Hey, Jasmine, you in you in Slab City? I gotta see if she in the slab. She probably know my ex. You know anybody from the slab? I ain't sure which part of Virginia she went to school in. I know she went to school in Virginia though. I'm in Clarksville. You know where the slab at? You know where the slab at, don't you? Her name Taylor. Taylor Johnson. They call her flower. You know? Hold on, hold on. I'm finna finish the story. Hold on. Come back in a minute. I want to see if she... I'm finna finish the story. Hold on. So check this out. So I get to Clarksville, but she ain't there no more. So I go, it's somebody I know that lived there. So when I get over there, she ain't tripping. The girl, the girl, you know, you know Joe Fresh, the one that, I think Joe Fresh got killed. But anyway, you know Domino, you know Domino, it's Domino X girl. But anyway, so when I get over there, the girl ain't tripping. She black. She black. Let me finish the story. So the girl ain't tripping. I get over here in the house. Everything cool. We chilling. They ain't even. They ain't tripping on me. I done told them. They don't know I done escaped. They ain't seen me on the news yet. I told them people I made bond. So when I told them I made bond, they they bought the story. You know what I'm saying? Her mama them did. But I'm telling her, yeah, that's all. The red bone. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's my ex. <laughs> we was in her car when I caught this case, the Green Saturn. So look. So check this out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so check this out. The brother pulled up. The brother pulled up to the house. When the brother pulled up, we sitting on the back patio. He come around there. He see me. He jumped. Soon as he see me, he jumped. He was like, man. He said, well, where you? He said, well, he said, how you get out of jail? He said, man. He said, when you get out of jail? I said, oh, I made bond. He said, you had a half a million dollar bond. He said, how you do that? I said, oh, I had a bomb reduction here. He said, what about your child part? He get out too? I said, no, nah, they didn't drop his bomb. He said, oh. He said, oh, dang. He said, what they drop your bomb to?
Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, so I'm like, man, he asking too many questions. He, he, hold on, hold on, my guy. You asking too many questions, my guy. So he was like, oh, that's what's up. He, he said, I'm gonna go. He was like, you hungry? You want some meat? I'm like, nah, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. So, so when he walk in the house, they got a TV in the kitchen. He turned it on the news. Soon as he turned the news on, my pitch on now. He come right back outside. He said, bro, he said, man, you could have told me, man. I said, what's up? He said, man, they got you on the news, bro. He said, you, he said man, you escaped. He said, hey, he said, how you do that? He said, bro, you, you was on the news right now. They said you escaped out of jail. He said, bro, you could have told me that. He said, man, come on in the house, man. You straight, man. Just come here and chill. He said, I'm going to fix some chicken, man. You want some meat? I said, no, I ain't got no appetite, bro. I'm just ready to go. So at this point, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, where I, I don't know. I messed up. I, I call. I ended up calling one of my family members. I called one of my family members. My daddy. They done sent word to prison. Told my daddy that I done escaped out of jail. My daddy done called down here. Me and him on the phone. He talking about man. You need to go down there and turn yourself in. Them folks gonna try to do this and do that. He said, man, we don't run from nothing. We deal with it. I ain't gonna never forget. He said that. As soon as he said, man, we don't run from nothing. We deal with it. I said, no. You was in there with two life sentences. You should have ran. What is wrong with you? I'm going to go. <laughs> Hang the phone. What are you talking about? We don't run from nothing. We do run from life sentences. We, what? we run from life sentences in prison. What is you? You should have ran. Man, don't call me with that. I'm finna. Man, you is crazy. <laughs> Look. <laughs> so I go, in, I go in the house. I lay down. I lay down and go to sleep. I lay down and go to sleep. I catch a little nap. While I'm in there, <laughs> while I'm in there, knocked out, they send the little fat, chunky little brother in the house. He shake me. He barely shake me. When he shake, when he shake me, I wake up and he was trotting. He was trotting away from me. He, he said, boo. He said, man, they got the house around me. Soon as he said that, I jumped up. I said, what? But when he said it, he ran out the house. So they, they had to have the set up to where they knew he was going to come out of the house. Because when I tell you, they had the house around it. They had the house around it. They had helicopters. They had Avalanche. They had News Channel 2, News Channel 4, News Channel 5, and News Channel 17. They had, listen. They had the po they had so many police out there in the front. They had police in the front. They had police. I'm gonna tell you. They had police all in the backyard. So as soon as he walked out of the house, the phone, the house phone ring. The house phone ring. I know it's the police. Now you want now you, you, you want to negotiate something. I'm not answering that phone. I know that's the police. I'm not answering the phone. So after they done called two or three times. And I don't answer the phone, they get on the bullhorn. Mr. Baker, we know that you're in the house. We need you to come on out. We don't want no one to get hurt. We don't want you to get hurt. We don't want none of our officers to, to get our officers to get hurt. At this point, I'm crawling on the floor. Cause I <laughs> listen, I don't watch too many movies. I ain't trying to get sniped in here. I'm crawling on the floor. I go in the bedroom. Where the front yard at? I go in where the front yard at because I'm trying to see how many police out here. Because for some reason, my brain is still not computing correctly. My brain is still telling me I can outsmart these people and run. So I put my hands under the blind. I put my hands under the blind where they can see my hands. And then I put my head under the blind. And soon as I put my head under the blind, I'm talking about the officers, they was moving. They was behind the trees and everything. I'm talking about, I seen so many rifles and handguns. I hurry up. I said, oh yeah, it's all well. I'm going to jail. <laughs> I am going to jail. So, so look, so when he... I'm going to ask, I'm going to come back to your question. When you say act crazy, let me remember this. You act crazy, why would you think? You act crazy if you think you would use common sense then. Remember that comment, because I'm going to explain to you. Because I don't think you can get a person. I don't think you get where my mind was at. So check this out. 
So look, so <laughs> so his his they mama was taking her mama take Seroquel. They mama take Seroquel. So I done I done crawled in the room, popped her pill bottle open, and took like three Seroquels. Never had took a Seroquel at that point. Took Seroquel. Pop, took like three of them. The phone started ringing. I picked the phone up. He said, Joe, you need to come on out. We go, I get out on the phone. I called my girl. I, at this point, I started calling my family because I was going to make them come in and do what they got to do. I started, look, I love y'all, man. They, they gonna, I ain't going, I'm not going out alive. I'm not, I ain't going, fuck. I ain't nobody, all of that crying and don't do that. You do you, you, don't, I ain't hearing nobody. Hey, I love y'all, man. Look, I just want to let you know I look, fuck, fuck. So finally, somebody called my girlfriend. Somebody called a girl I was going with at the time. Somebody called my girlfriend at the time. The police called the phone. I picked the phone up. They got her on three-way. She said, why is you down there doing all that? You being selfish. You need to think about your daughter. And for some reason, I choose to listen to her. She talked, she talked, she need to come on out of the house, did this and that. So I tell the police, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, I tell you what. I said, man, I'm gonna, I'm, I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out the house. I said, but. I said, but I said, but I'm I said, but I'm thirsty. I said, I'm thirsty. He said, well, go and get you something to drink. I said, yeah, let me let me walk to the refrigerator. Cause now I'm trying to walk to the back of the house so I can see how many police in the back. So I go to the back of the house. He said, now look to your left. He said, that's me holding the bullhorn. So I walk, open the refrigerator, grab a root bird, turn, look to the left. He waving at me. I wave back. I close the refrigerator. I look outside. I said, my God, there's a lot of police back here. I get right back on the ground and start crawling. So he called the phone. He was like, you, you, you ready? I said, yeah, you can tell him come on in. You can tell him come on in. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm feeling the circle at this time. I'm a little woozy. I'm a little woozy. So the police, listen, I'm thinking it. Listen. I'm thinking this finna be a simple arrest. I'm thinking they just finna come in. You know, I'm already laying down on the ground. He told me I already be laid down on the ground. I'm laying down on the ground. I'm thinking they just gonna come in, you know, put the handcuffs on me, carry me out the house. These folks, listen, listen. These folks kick the door in. Boom. Is anybody in the house? Is anybody in the house? They come in about 14 deep. They throw a flash bomb in these people living room while I was in there on the ground. They throw a flash bomb. They, no, no, they grab me first. They grab me. They put me in zip ties. They don't even put me in handcuffs. They run in the room, put me in zip ties. Hog tap me. Grab me. Pick me up. Carry me out the house like a hog. They just carry me out the house. And while they carry me out of the house, listen, <laughs> while they carry me out of the house, they say, is anybody else in the house? Is anybody else in the house? Ain't nobody in the house, bro. These folks blow these people house up. <laughs> they blew these people. When they threw that flash bomb in there, they sound like a bomb. They threw it in there. Is anybody else in the house? They All you hear is They run in the house. I'm like, oh my God. Who paying for all of that? Who paying? Who paying for these damages? <laughs> I'm thinking, who, who, who paying, who paying for this damage? Who paying for these damages? Y'all don't keep these people doing. Y'all keep these people doing. Threw a bomb in their booty, folks. Coffee table up. They, 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 they love seating. Everything is damaged, bro. With it's smoke coming out the whip. I said, my God, what is this? <laughs> And then the whole time, I'm laying down on the ground. They got their knee in my back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when they picked me up, because I, I had took my shirt off too. I had took my shirt off so they couldn't say I had nothing. So I took my shirt off. They picked me up. I can't walk because I'm, I'm, I'm burnt. When they walking me to the car, true story. All of the news stations was running up to me like a real life movie with the cameras. Mr. Baker, Mr. Baker, Mr. Baker. They walking with me. The, the camera guy, he following the guy. And the dude with the mic like his, Mr. Baker, 
How did you get out of the jail? How did you get out of the jail, Mr. Baker? How did you get out of the jail? How did you? I said, man, they let me out. I said, they let me out. They, they take my head. They trying to push me in the car. No, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> they trying to push me in the car. I'm like, they said, how did you get out of the jail? How did you get out? I said, they let me out. They let me. Who let you out of the jail, Mr. Baker? They closed the door. <laughs> Listen, they slammed their car door so hard when they threw me in the back seat. I'm talking about my, my arms scratching and everything. They threw me in the back seat. Listen, hold on. Hold on, hold on. They threw me in the back seat, pulled off. They take me to the jail. I'm in the back seat. I'm spit. Listen, I'm spinning in the back seat. I'm. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about I'm out of here I'm out of here By the time we get to the jail They open up the door They get me out to try to let me walk I couldn't even walk I, He said you He said, you, you, you alright? You alright? I said yeah, yeah I'm straight He said did you, did you take something? He said did you take anything? You can tell though you could tell, I was, and I was on that Seroquel too. He said, he said, what is wrong with you? I couldn't even walk. They carried me. They carried me in the jail, and they sit me down on the ground. I'm just sitting. He said, Baker, 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 what, what did you take? He said, what did you take? I said, man, uh, I took Seroquel. He said, how many? How many did you take? I said, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They give me a little small cup of something brown. I don't know what it was. A little small cup of something brown. They said, swallow that. It ain't going to take number 10, 15 seconds. It's going to make you throw up whatever on your stomach. So they give me this little small cup of, of disgusting, whatever it was. I, dr I drank it. It wasn't 15 seconds. I throw up. <clears throat> I throw up. Oh, I shake back instantly. Now I'm trying to figure out, okay, Okay, what we got going on in here? What's now what? Now what we doing? <laughs> what we doing now? So they soon as they get through doing that, I see the black suits come in. TBI is in the building. They walk to the cell. So baby, we need to talk to you about that escape. What about it? What about it? What are we talking about? Well, I think you know what we want to know. We know there's no way that you just escaped out of the Robinson County jail.